Hi everybody, Miss Rachel with Farmingdale Public Library here, and today I'd like to show you a homemade pinball machine. This pinball machine can be made using common household materials, and you could really use anything you've got around. So, for this activity, you will need a cardboard box, not too big. Um, the bigger your box, the bigger your game will be, of course. You'll need plenty of excess scrap cardboard, like I have here. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need some rubber bands, some paper clips you can make some obstacles with, or metal fasteners, excuse me, some glue. You could also use some duct tape or electrical tape. And of course, a marble or a bouncy ball to make your pinball game. And if you'd like, you can also decorate using some markers or crayons. Okay, so for this activity, the first thing that we're going to want to do is using some of our scrap cardboard, build up the top side of the game. I'm going to use either tape or some glue to layer multiple pieces of cardboard together so that my game sits higher at the top side on my table. This way, if it has a little bit of a tilt to it, it makes it a little bit more challenging. To construct our paddles at the bottom of the game, Cut a slit in the side of the box, but not all the way through, and slide a rectangular piece of cardboard into each side. You could do this with two arms, or if you want, you could have just one. If you want to make a launcher arm, tape together a T-shaped piece of cardboard and wrap a rubber band around the T. Poke a hole in the side of your box here and feed it through. Secure it with some tape on this side and you will have a launch arm that will spring when you release it. You can put one of these in if you want or you could just use the paddles if you'd prefer. Just be careful with your placement so that your launch arm doesn't bop up against the paddle when you go to launch it. But other than that, all you need to do is take some cardboard and maybe some tape or some glue to design your obstacles for this course. See, I made a ring like that around the outside with a ramp made out of tape to drop into, but I also made some of the conventional triangle bumpers too. Once you've finished all that, determine where your point values will be, and then drop in your marble and have fun. So I hope you had a good time making a pinball machine with me. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon in some of our other programs. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.